comfy sleeping bag. There's my mat. Cooler, of course. All kinds of camping gear. It's supposed to get down into the 30s tonight, so I'm bringing this. Uh, messing with the fire is a pain in the butt when you don't have any wood. Bringing that. It's going to be my ground. Uh, insulation, camera stuff, radio, radio, camping stuff. Way too much stuff. <laughs> Got some health food from Sonic for my camp out. This is my last meal before I, I'm on my own the rest of the night. Um, health food would be two corn dogs and tater tots. <laughs> Gee, I wonder why I'm fat. No, 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 no. I exercise. I exercise. It's funny, whenever I do uh, ham radio, I do a lot of radio and I get excited about it and do uh, YouTube videos with it, I gain weight every time. I just, I can't focus on two, two things at once. I can't focus on both exercise and fitness and uh, ham radio and videos. Anyway, I'm starting to get excited. I was a little bit dreading this wet day to go camping, but I'm actually pretty excited. Okay, I've made the William R. Logan Conservation Area. think that this is a parks on the air designated park I don't know though um, it's kind of wet and damp so I don't expect anyone to be out here tonight but you never know the last time I camped out here the last time I camped out here this guy like it was weird he pulled up in a truck real late at night and he got all his camping gear out and then like an hour later he got he seemed to be angry and then he took all his stuff and threw it and he turned his lights on and skidded out and left like at four or five, in, uh, three or four in the morning. And then, you know, it freaked me out. And, you know, I, I can defend myself. Let's just put it that way. And then, I, I, you know, I had trouble going to sleep after that because I thought, do you know, I bet you anything that guy comes back. I bet you anything he does. Guess what? Six in the morning, he comes back and uh, he comes back and drives over there where he was and stomps around for a little bit and then leaves again. Still need that. All right. So this park is pretty cool. It is way far away from the city, so this is really remote. Uh, you know, so you don't get hardly anybody here. All right. So the key is, I want to be underneath a tree. And look at those. Those are turkey buzzards. Um. So the key is, I want to be under a big, big tree. I made the mistake last time of setting my camp up right there. Guess what happened? People walk through my camp over and over to go to the bathroom. Never doing that again. Anyway, it's kind of good to be familiar with with the area so you know where to go. It's a chilly wind blowing in. I think I'm going to park there and use that very nice tree as my antenna. Tower. It's a better tree than this one. I can get up higher with that. Yeah. Look at all these awesome antenna towers. That's why I chose this place. Area closed, 10 p.m. to 4 a.m. I guess they mean that area, I don't know. I've come here hiking before, there's a four mile loop. It's a very nice area, look at that. And uh, it's pretty early spring, so it's chilly out. It's probably about 40 right now, the slight wind and I'm dressed for it. Um, gonna need to put a jacket on soon. Uh, number one rule of camping. What is the number one rule of camping? Set up camp before nightfall. That's it. Uh, do not put up your camp in the dark. That is the worst. That is the worst thing ever. Found it cool, so I just took a little drive, and there's a lot of camping spots here. All of this is free, by the way. Um, this is a real good place for hammock camping, which is where I did my hammock camping videos. I camped there once, actually. I don't have the best vehicle for this, but yeah, you can see it's a real nice area for spreading out, you know. Kind of don't want to be on that hill because it's windy up there, but
But I want to be on the hill because that's where you can get up the highest with your antenna. Right? I believe it. I took, I had this on the ground. I had that on the ground. Two bees were really, really in love with this for some reason. They really wanted to be on it, so I pulled it away. One of them came at me. Uh, look at that. It's supposed to snow tomorrow. Seriously. It's supposed to get down to the 30s and snow. There's bees, and there's one caught. There's one caught somewhere in here. He's right there. It's supposed to snow tomorrow, and there's bees out. That's why you have a tent. Welcome to Missouri. Okay, let's take a look around. So, obviously, I'm car camping. Got my little table there, got my tent set up, got all my bedding thrown inside. Now, what I was thinking was, I'm gonna go from this tree down inside my tent. And it's a little brushy back there, but I can still get, I can still get back there. There's gonna be some thorns and stuff. I don't like that, but I really wanna get up into that tree. Um, there is a shooting range. So if you hear gunfire, there's a shooting range about two miles that way. Um, I might actually go there tomorrow and shoot a few rounds. Uh, you hear the wind? That's going to be my problem. Check it out. That's going to be what I'm battling. That just kicked up all of a sudden. That's going to be what I'm battling tonight, probably. Uh, but you see how thin those walls are. It's not going to uh, hold much in insulation there, is it? Now this tent's pretty cool. It's got those little air vents. And you know, last time I used this thing, it was hot, and I had trouble getting air. That netting right there is so fine that the, it seems like the air won't even blow through it. That little netting. The bees are really interested in my coat. Are you kidding me? I'm gonna put that thing on, and I'm gonna get tagged by a freaking bee. Okay, so here goes the antenna. Hopefully, I can do this in one shot. Here's my slingshot. So what I'm hoping to do is to go straight up and then straight back down. I don't want to shoot it way out there because then I'll have to go retrieve it and all that crap. So I'm trying to shoot it as high up and straight back down as I can without overshooting it. And I want to be, well, I want to be on that side a little bit. So that's the goal. If I can do this in one shot, I'm good. It's pretty cool to have this out here. No, no worries about anyone coming by asking what you're doing. Hey, what's that thing? Is that a CB radio? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna shoot like that direction. That way I don't get into all that crap over there. I'm trying to plan it out here. So you see I've got this kind of set up so I can, I could if I wanted to take my coax into the tent, which I will be doing later, or into the car if it gets windy or something, and using the pack tent because it's so easy to set up. Um, antenna goes, it ends about right there, the rope goes on over and then straight down. What I was going to do now is kind of look at the direction, which is a little interesting, so I'm pointing a little, I'm pointing east, a little bit to the south of the east. So, what I expect is to hear off to the north, northeast, and southeast. That's usually what happens is I end up, it seems to bounce a little, go that way, a little directional. This is as very vertical considering, um, I don't want, you don't want to be too vertical because then you have to go through a bunch of branches, see? So, it'll be interesting to see I'm pointed east. Um, that won't be good if I'm trying to talk to Virginia, but we'll see what happens. So I have a friend. I don't want him here though. I get tangled up in the. Get out of here. Go. Fucking hell. 
Wow. He peed on my tent. I think I'm going to name this channel. <laughs> it's just channel The Unluckiest Ham Alive. And now the extended outlook for the period Sunday through Friday accumulating snowfall is likely on Sunday and Sunday night, especially for areas along and north of Interstate 70. As soon as I got here, this guy came up with these damn beagles, and they've been barking every second since for about an hour. Just so sick of listening to barking. And of course, as you see, one of those damn dogs came over here and peed on my tent. You peed on my rug, dude. Who peed on your rug? Who peed on my rug? Alright, so I'm all set up. Antenna's there. Look. It's supposed to snow tomorrow, and there's bugs flying around. Okay, so I'm trying to talk to Ron C. from YouTube, and I was not able to do a voice. I'm using 10 watts in the woods on my little field day here. 10 watts. Um, we're going to go to CW and see if we can make a contact using CW. CQ, CQ, November 9 Yankee Oscar, CQ, CQ, N9YO, CQ, CQ. I fashioned a counterpoise for my, well actually that's a dipole now isn't it, uh, for my KX2. It actually, that banana plug doesn't fit, so I have to hold it in there. That's why the battery's like that. This is my counterpoise for the super antenna. It has various lengths, and I know I need to fan it out more like that, but it's pretty hard to do because it tangles so much. So anyway, I've been trying to make a contact with Ron in Virginia at 10 watts and can't do it. Um, I don't know what the concentration is. We sent out a mailer for him, I think. Now, for those of you in the St. Louis area, I'm in Logan Park, which is really way up past Troy. And I can hear this repeater. I'm going to try to hit it later, but there's people talking on it. Okay, yeah. I, I knew Ed was out here. I didn't realize that, uh, that Scott... This is my ground plane. As well. uh, so that's good to know. But Yeah, I remember Ed telling me uh, at one point... That sounds fall, really good out here, doesn't uh, it? There was a Lincoln County Club, but they weren't particularly active and didn't have a whole lot of members. And uh, uh, I think that's kind of how we ended up going up to um, Ellsbury to do the, uh, the Boy Scout event uh, in October. So I sent out a CQ, CQ, and I uh, had a friend tell me with my 10 watts what I was hitting from Missouri. And I, he got a ham alert. Uh, Bedford, New Hampshire, Washington, Utah, New Hampshire. Uh, so, yeah, definitely getting out. CQ, CQ, November 9, Yankee Oscar in Missouri. CQ, CQ, N9, YO in Missouri. CQ, CQ, November 9, Yankee Oscar in Missouri. I had to look up the QRP calling frequency and I found it 14.285. CQ, CQ, November 9, Yankee Oscar calling CQ, CQ, N9, YO, CQ. CQ, CQ, November 9, Yankee Oscar, CQ, CQ, N9YO. 
CQ, CQ, inline wire. Looks like some dark clouds are rolling in. All of a sudden, those dark clouds got near, and this rush of sound, it sounded like a car was coming, and it got real chilly. <laughs> if, I, if someone had answered me there, I don't think I could have had a QSO because I couldn't hear. See so those trees are swaying? There's definitely bad weather rolling in, and it's going to be snow, but it's a matter of when. I don't think it's going to happen tonight. I think it's going to happen tomorrow morning or afternoon. Check out that branch. That branch just fell. It got caught. Whoa. Ooh, I got the heebie jeebies. The wind changed on me. It was coming from that direction. Hello, spring. Oh, it's cold, by the way. I'm not even kidding. When I set up, the wind was coming exactly that way, and that's why I parked my car there. And I, I had it pulled out. I had my tent pulled out that way. The wind has exactly reversed. Exactly reversed. Now it's coming from exactly the opposite way. Tell me, how does that happen? A front? I may be experiencing the front right now. <laughs> Things are about to get real weird. I don't remember ever being so in tune with the the wind being exactly one way and then three hours later it's coming exactly from the other way i'm gonna have to move my car over here actually i think i'll do that that way i'll be blocked again since the wind changed again i had to reconfigure everything my antenna hasn't been hard to to move around all you have to do is just unhook it and move it but the wind changed on me and now i'm i'm using my car as a block here and I'm gonna try to get my first cue. So I haven't been trying that hard. Uh, I've been just messing around, kind of relaxing, you know. Oh boy, that was hard, man. It got so quiet, so quiet, just barely, barely, barely. Can you hear it? Just barely. I had to end it so fast. All right, that was that was Arizona. Uh, I I got a five five nine. I sent a four seven nine. Just barely. It got worse and worse and worse. I'm starting to feel comfortable now. I, I said it's windy. I said I'm outside right now. It's windy. It's hard to describe, of course, in CW what's going on. You know, it's wind. I, every time the wind comes, I'm like, what, what? All right, so that was uh, Lauren in Prescott, Arizona. Prescott, Arizona. I'm glad to make a contact. I just want to make at least one. Uh, of course, I'm going to make more than that, but I'm just happy to get that in, man. Check it out. I mean, it is nasty out. I've got wind coming over here. I'm hiding over here. I'm just barely hearing. Man, this is quite an experience. I'm pretty happy about that. Real happy about that. And that thing right there, I am not sponsored by them, but that thing right there is freaking awesome. 
it's awesome because it's oh, so easy to set up. Just one support. Just get it up there and you're done. Any kind of infed would work. It doesn't have to be that one. Uh, that thing's expensive. So if, that's, if I have anything to say, anyway, I'm happy I made a contact. Arizona, I gotta write down what time it ended. That guy that brought those beagles here, I think he lost one of them. He's been driving around and driving. They can't find him and he's yelling. I don't think he lost. I don't know if he lost him or not, but he's yelling. You hear that? He's been out here for four hours. Okay, I made a grand royal mistake. Out there, I was too exposed to the wind, and it kept changing on me. Finally, I'm like, dude, you know, I can't make a video. I can't make any sound, so I moved over here. These trees make a wonderful... Now, notice that that's not moving. Now I'm in a little bit of a wet patch, but I have a tarp down. I always use a tarp. All right, now i got to get my antenna back up. So what I'm doing is, hopefully... I'm going to go into something simple, like right there. Keep it simple. Alright, it's going to get dark now and lighting's going to get worse and worse. It is way calmer sitting here. Uh, and you won't have the, you know, I need a, d a dead cat on my microphone on this camera, but I don't have one yet. I keep thinking I need one. Alright, so my antenna. It's way up there now. I had to change everything. Move the entire camp over here, as I said. Okay, I want to keep that short. Um, I could just barely hear him again. Um, I don't know if there's a way to turn up or preamp or something, but both those last ones are really, really, really weak. So I had trouble. That was Dale in Mesa, Arizona. That's two Arizonas. A A A seven T Z. Um, Ten watts there. He heard me better than I heard him. So uh, I don't know. Am I getting out? And not getting in? You tell me. I'm starting to get cold. Now this ain't bad at all. This is a lot easier than a fire. Be honest with you, way, way easier. It's just the fire just takes so much wood. I've come out here a few times, and I brought some wood, and they just you go right through it, and then I ended up tre trekking and trekking and looking and looking and looking, bring back wood, go through it, I go back out again. One time I dragged this huge stump back, and it was kind of wet, and it took forever to burn. It's just so much easier. CQ Missouri, November 9, Yankee Oscar. CQ Missouri, November 9, Yankee Oscar. Wow, that was Ron and he's booming. You're booming, Ron! Booming! Booming!
Okay, uh, Ron is booming. He probably can't hear me that well, but I can hear him very well. Very interesting. Okay, Ron C is in Virginia. We couldn't talk earlier, but on 40 meters now, uh, we can talk. It's getting creepy around here, right? Anyway, uh, <laughs> uh, he was, he was booming. I'm just trying to warm up right now. Thank God I went to Walmart today and got more propane. <laughs> I'm so glad I did. I've had this propane in here literally five years. Those little cans you buy in the camping section, you know, they fit in the sides and they still are putting out. Of course, I'm going to run them all the way down to nothing, but I've got two more cans, so just in case, I knew it was going to get cold tonight. Thank God I've got this. I'm having a blast out here. Uh, I wish I had a friend here, you know, of course I do. But who's going to go camping with me in the cold? I mean, nobody. Absolutely. I've never been here, ever, and nobody's been around. Sorry if you can't see anything. Um, there's always been somebody here, but not now. Uh, I'm not, I'm not working real hard at making contacts, just one here and there. That tent has these super reflective things on it all over it. See the, the wire? That's really cool because you, you won't trip over it, right? Um, that's so you find your tent in the dark. Look how reflective my license plate is. Alright, so it was really hard to film inside of a tent and I apologize for that. My cell phone service is delayed or very slow. So when I send a text to my friend or wife, it takes a long time, says so delayed and everything. All right, now here's my propane heater. It is super toasty in here with this. I have it on very low. I'm gonna turn it off, of course. I'll turn it off uh, when I go to sleep. I, you know, I, I understand about the uh, carbon monoxide and all that. Um, okay, so I was gonna tell you, look, I've got my glow tube connected up here. Well, this thing is awesome. I got that for scuba diving. It goes underwater. Uh, it's awesome to put at the top. You got a light for everything, right? You just screw that in and then I've got a glow stick just for the heck of it. Okay, I took my antenna and normally you know how I hook it to the table? I hooked it to the top of the tent. How cool is that? So I have my antenna up there and then I've got my uh, coax coming here. That's a very fine coax. And look at this. I made a tent pole choke. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Uh, but that is, <laughs> I was thinking, there's my tent pole choke. Um, super toasty. The only problem is I don't spend much time on the ground, so it's not the most comfortable thing in the world, you know, because just, you know, I sit in a chair. I don't sit on the ground, so I'm not used to that. All right, I've got my protection right there. I've got my two meter here. I've got my KX2, this thing. This thing is awesome, except, you know, if I could, I would have a radio like this that put out more power. And yes, you need a bigger battery for that. Of course you do. But if I had my druthers, I would have a portable, I want a portable radio that can go up to 100 watts that even though it requires a bigger battery, I'm car camping, I could carry a bigger battery. This is for light camping, right? And so no one can hear me on sideband. I'm going to keep calling tonight. Sideband, CQ, CQ. Check it out. Dark as hell out there. All right, there's my drink holder. That's my last cerveza. There's my last propane. I've got two propane tanks, actually. One's in the car. Uh, I'm good, dude. It's super, super warm in here. I actually have to shed clothes outside. It is getting cold. And it's going to snow tomorrow. It's set about 10 a.m. So, let's see if we can make a contact. Come on, man. We can do it. We're going to go down to 40 meters now. So, I went to 40 meters, and there's just tons and tons of activity. I'm having trouble finding a place. That's free. All right. I have to use a glow stick to tune it. Is this frequency in use? Is this frequency in use? CQ, 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 November 9, Yankee Oscar. CQ, CQ, N9, YO. CQ, CQ, November 9, Yankee Oscar. CQ, CQ, N9, YO, YO, in Missouri. CQ, CQ, N9, YO, in Missouri. CQ, CQ, N9, YO, November 9, Yankee, Oscar. Yes, sir, you're right. Henry, do you make it back at the... Uh, by God, I hear you on 40, though, man. You're loud. Hello. 
Name is J O E. He kind of ran those together, didn't he? SKC Single Key Century Club. That's a that's a straight key, straight keys Century Club. That's his number one four three nine one. That's really good for straight key because I did not know he was using a straight key. Cool. I feel like, geez, so fast. Oh, I just made Syracuse, Utah. Utah and Arizona, apparently, I have a direct channel 2 from this place. Um, talk about challenging. I am very, very uncomfortable. I'm not used to sitting on my butt for so long periods of time. My lower back's starting to hurt, but that was really cool, really fun. Um, I could not believe how fast someone came back. I just, one call, one time. I was going to get more comfortable and, like, get ready and all. And I didn't even have a chance to do that. Holy crap. This is a riveting conversation. My God. Oh my goodness. He, uh... It's almost 10 p.m. Central Time and it's getting late. I'm getting tired to be honest with you. I want to make one more cue so just to, just, I don't know, I just felt like a one more. I haven't made that many tonight. Uh, let's just see. 
what happens. Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Okay, um, he was he was really struggling, and I was very nice, um, but that was really, 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 really not not on the level. Uh, but I'm not gonna call him out. I'm just saying, being super nice. He has a lot of practice to do, a lot of work to do. He needs to watch my videos, and I'm gonna help him out. I started hearing this weird sound and it was my heater running out of gas. I started to freak out like what's out there man? <laughs> 